We're back with Lachelle Yates for the Better Business Bureau. She's answering all kinds of scam related questions and also business consumer related questions. All right, this first one is, are there any vaccine scams that you're hearing about? We are not hearing about any vaccine scams right now, fortunately. And I also looked to see if we were hearing about any scams for masks or anything, I'm not hearing about those either. So finally a little quiet. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were a bunch of them earlier on. And of course it just kind of like ebbs and flows and then it goes into something else. All right, this next person says, is there a way to stop scammers from reaching out to me? Oh, I wish there was. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, our information is out there in so many different places and in so many different ways. And, you know, scammers are always looking for an opportunity and they're they're going to reach you by phone, by mail. If somebody comes up with a way, they're going to be gazillionaires. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. This person's asking you. We were talking about this beforehand with the romance scams about how to Google someone's picture, see if it had been used somewhere else. And they're asking, how do you Google someone's picture? So the easiest way is go to images google.com and it will pop up the Google search box and then there's a little icon for a camera and just click on that and go from there and it'll give you the instructions on how to upload a picture. So it's images.google.com and then just look for the little icon for the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and worse comes and to that worse. Should, I, that should work for, mo oh, sorry, I was gonna say that should work for mobile and everything else, but also if you just Google how to look up a mm -hmm. reverse image search a picture, that'll tell you how to do it too. Yeah, and it'll give you like those step-by-step -step instructions, all right? This person says, if you use your credit card for purchases, is it safe to make payments on the credit card online with your debit card? So they made a purchase with their credit card, right? And then they want right. to pay off their credit card with their debit card. Should be. I mean, you're making the payment through your bank with your debit card. Yes, because your credit card is still going to be the one that is going to that you would file the dispute with. Right. If you bought something and something didn't come in right, you're going to go yeah, to your you, credit card. You would still dispute it with. Yeah, still dispute it with your credit card company. So this person's asking, how safe is it to have your mortgage or utility payments taken directly from your bank account? That, so as far as I know, that's pretty safe. I mean, you've got a direct line between your utility company and your bank. And I've never heard of any fraud taking place through those kinds of transactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I suppose if you had to dispute that, you would still have the money that came out of your account and stuff like that. But you just don't hear that as often as something that is a major issue. All right, let's talk about no. um, selling things online because so many of us want to sell something online and there are selling online scams. So what kinds of things can you tell us to protect ourselves? Well, you know, one of the things that happens for people it, when they go to sell something online is they get somebody who wants to overpay with either a check or through the digital wallets now like Cash App. But mm -hmm. here's the deal. If you send them the item and their overpayment, you are going to lose twice because I guarantee you their payment is going to bounce. And so what's happened is you've sent them the item and your money because that's the overpayment. So just if somebody wants to overpay, just walk away and say no. <laughs> yeah, that is a the huge red flag, that, yeah. Yeah, that is a huge red flag. Also, watch out for people who want to move off of the payment or off of the system that you're using to buy and sell. Because I'll guarantee you, if they're wanting to move off, it's because they want to skirt the safety rules that are on that platform for one reason, and it's because they want to scam you. The second thing is it, to really protect yourself if you're selling locally is find a safe place like a police station to meet those people. And the third thing is protect your personal information. Don't ever give out your email, your home address, or your um, phone number to, to strangers. Just don't do that. All right, we've got about a minute left and I don't want to leave without this. What is this whole social media book exchange scam? What's this new thing? Oh, Oh, this sounds so innocent, doesn't it? You've probably seen it and it's probably, it's come from a friend of yours who says, you know, uh, provide information about a few friends and then just send a book to a stranger who's already already signed up and you're going to get 36 books from around the world. Sounds amazing, right? Wrong. It's a pyramid scheme and it's illegal. So, and the, you know, you've heard of this probably at Christmas with the secret right, sister. Yes. 
but but it's a pyramid scam so here's how to protect yourself one ignore those emotional pleas brighten somebody's day pay it forward ignore it too good to be true do you really need are you really going to get 36 books <laughs> and um just again guard your personal information don't give it to a stranger but here this is how you can pay it forward click report the post or report a photo if you spot a scam on social media uh, good to know yeah don't perpetuate it instead let's stop it Thank you so yes. much, Lachelle, for joining us. Hey, if you missed any of this information, go to the Two Wants to Know section. We've got it all posted right there for you.